Legend tells of a dark knight who against all odds could defeat any opponent, no matter how powerful, simply because he's Batman. Batman has vanquished countless foes throughout the years, but there's always room for more. Let's take a look at some Batman showdowns we need to see. Let's start with the basics. One of Batman's first villains from Detective Comics was meant to be his evil opposite. That is none other than the Killer Moth, a normal man who achieves his superhuman abilities through gadgets, technology, and impressive peak-level human fighting abilities. Since his debut, Killer Moth has had several modern remakes. A tweak to his backstory and maybe a cooler name would make him way more compelling and ripe for a Batman showdown. Then again, Batman probably sounds ridiculous to people who've never heard of him. We should mention that no one is off limits. Every universe is in play, so let's venture to a somewhat popular one. Over at Marvel lives a man named Frank Castle, aka The Punisher. The battling philosophies of these two brutes is a tried and tested winning formula. The Punisher will win by any means necessary, usually involving violence, and even murder, while many versions of Batman refuse to kill. They've both had fights with other heroes for these differences in morality, so why not each other? An excommunicated member of the Bat family and former villain turned anti-hero, Azrael would put up quite the fight against the Dark Knight. Not only would this provide some great action, but it could offer Azrael a shot at redemption, ultimately improving his story and why he does what he does. With a compelling reason, Azrael could take on the Batman, attempting to earn his place back among the ranks of the greatest family based on nocturnal mammals. Okay, that didn't really make sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. There are some characters Batman has had the pleasure of fighting alongside, but for some reason in these incredible and rare moments, the two never throw a single punch at each other. This is the case between Batman and Hellboy. Bringing in the paranormal, many believe Batman would not stand a chance against the Red Giant, but Batman has taken down bigger and stronger foes. Hellboy has some of the best fights on the pages of comics, and his showdown with Batman could top them all. Some Batman villains just haven't had their time to shine. They've fought against him, but an official showdown? Something like Batman vs. the Joker, or Batman v. Bane? Well, it's safe to say Hugo Strange has never gotten that kind of clout, but he definitely deserves it. Residing in Arkham Asylum, Hugo Strange is one of Batman's smartest villains, but he is more often than not cast as a side character in another villain's chance at the title. Hugo Strange could be the Lex Luthor equivalent to Batman, and just think about it, the name writes itself. Strange Tales. Yeah, that... That sounds good. And I thought my jokes were bad. Batman has a rich history of crossovers with indie comic heroes and villains. His adventures with people like The Shadow or Tarzan really lay the blueprints for a showdown with The Phantom. Both heroes are rooted in a pulpy style that defined the golden age of comics. Additionally, they are extremely similar heroes. They have the same human level powers and mostly rely on their wit and gadgets to fight crime. And honestly, is a purple jumpsuit any less ridiculous than dressing up like a bat? Ever since the release of Alan Moore's Watchmen, many people have thought that a great adversary for Batman would be the conspiracy sleuth of the team, Rorschach. The two are very similar, given that they are the greatest detectives in their respective universes. However, Rorschach's tendency to violence and lack of empathy puts him at odds against the Cape Crusader. A showdown could be a knockdown dragout fight or a battle of detectives as each tries to discover the other's secrets, pitting their opposing styles against each other. During the Batman Who Laughs miniseries, an alternate version of Batman emerged and instantly became a fan favorite. Using guns to exact violence, the Grim Knight never got his own miniseries, and therefore is considered highly underutilized. The Grim Knight would serve as a great Batman villain, seeing as he is literally the personified version of Batman if he broke his own rules. The Grim Knight has a wide open future, and pitting him against the Dark Knight could help us dive even deeper into the moral psyche behind perhaps the most well-known superhero of all time. What better matchup is there than a guy who fights crime in direct opposition to the law, and one who does it with an almost unhealthy obsession with it? Turns out it's great, which is why Batman has gone up against Judge Dredd of Mega City 1 four times, making him the most recurring indie crossover. However, all of these matchups were more than 20 years ago. Fans would love the next chapter in this saga, perhaps even featuring a new Batman. New people have taken on the moniker, so why not revive a winning formula and have them take a shot at Judge Dredd? DC learned a long time ago that a winning combo was to have their two greatest heroes face off against each other. Batman v Superman, a tale as old as time. While these two are usually on the same page, there are times where they simply must fight each other. However, ever since Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns, there seems to be a consistent pattern in their battles. Which is that despite all odds, Batman always wins. It's time for a new showdown, but this time, the Man of Steel needs to give it all he's got and finally defeat Batman. 
Whether he's solving crimes or busting criminals, if Batman is in a fight, you know you're in for a good one. Which opponents from any universe would you want to see take on the Dark Knight? 